All right, let's make our way in here. Burn everything alive. Oh, Boone, what are you doing? Don't run in there. You're good. See, now you're on fire. You're the human torch now. Ah, this is the other side. Okay. Is there anything we can gather from here? Wow, you burst that thing. Ah, save me. Boom! No! Don't be crippled. Splash damage. I apologize. Alright, so we've gained the Bug Stomper perk, rank 1. We leveled up. Hooray. All right, excellent. So, let's see. Let's put our energy weapons to 50. Lockpick. We'll do 90. We'll max that out soon enough. And lastly, we'll just go ahead and put it into science. Okay, so what do we have over here? Let's just quickly look around, make sure we're not missing anything. Ah, terminal. Excellent. Alright, so I guess there's a number of species that identified over here. Species BE908, the distinctive relative of the more commonly known Venus flytrap. Species BE908 seems to be performing well. The plants are a threat to creatures up to five times their size due to the violent nature of their closing maws. These, or those, that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by their initial bite. The plant lacks the plant's lack of mobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into reach by means of their of the nectar they secrete from their bodies. Species two, uh, the mantis. Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest of the terms. All right, let me try that again. Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest of the terms of predation. The insects are voracious and their camouflage allows them to attack prey by surprise. Also, they complement our botanical specimens by hunting down those pests that avoid or escape our other measures. Lastly, mantis will begin to cannibalize one another when other food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating when prey is scarce. Species 3, a entomopathogenic fungus B. more Deciana has been developed to colonize the bodies. I have no clue uh, if I pronounce any of those words correct. Of most common pests, once it has fully colonized a host body, the host technically dies, but the body continues to move by means of fungal colony within it. In this manner, the fungus moves amongst more of its prey, occasionally spraying spores in a radius around the host body, infecting all those who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill prey, 10 to 20 days, and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. Where'd it go? Boone, what'd you do to it? You kicked it away. Damn it. Arg. All right, we got to uh, load up. And there we go. Take care of that. Aha, there we go. A E R fourteen prototype. Whoa! These must be the Venus flytrap variants. You're mine. Okay. That was a surprise. Uh disengage lock. Clarence granted. Unlocking. Excellent. So we're going to go through that hole later after we explore the rest of this area. Ow, that actually hurt. Eat this. Right, download research data. 
return to Dr. Hildren at uh, the camp. We won't do that just yet. We want to explore the rest of this area. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. So I'm just going to take my time exploring the rest of this area. Another plant. Pretty durable mantis there. So maybe this just does a loop and goes to other room. Possibly. Let's go ahead and check it out. Kind of creepy down here, but uh, nothing we can't handle, right? Oh, does it fork out? Okay. I think this way might connect. No, it's just a dead end. Okay. No worries then. We'll go ahead travel this path right down here and see where it leads us. Uh, looks like it drops us down. Alright, let's take a little plunge and check this area out. Maybe we could find some uh, good items down here. I'm not 100% sure. this eggs why do I want to take that I have no use for those oh I thought it was something what's it doing it's dancing the spores dancing or fuel I should say Get it up. Oh, I thought that was a computer that we were gonna be able to access. Apparently not. Open desk though. Okay. Ah, we got some stuff there. Alright, let's get out of here. Since uh I don't have high enough repair skill, we're just gonna have to Climb up these stairs and navigate out ourselves. Did Dr. Hildern, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Not interested, more concerned. It's just, you're not the first person he sent to Vault 22, and I know he'd never tell you. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Well, nothing was mentioned. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Well, right, good luck. We already did that. If you can find Darn it. I don't want to go all the way back there. Listen, lady, why didn't you <sighs> come on, you should have pulled me aside and told me earlier. Maybe that's what the uh skull was down there by the egg sack. You know what? You're lost. I'm not going back there. 
Ah, I was just wondering what had become of you. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. Hmm. By the way, you never warned me about the dangers in that place. By the way, that vault was just as dangerous as William's thoughts. Make it fast, I want my caps. Didn't I? Did you encounter undue difficulties? Clearly not, or you wouldn't be standing here, would you? All that matters is whether the data is intact. I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. All right, glad to be a service. I'd be careful with that data. You didn't see those plants in the vault. I agree. I've done more than my part. You owe me more caps. Damn right, no thanks to you. Let's just go ahead and say this. Your concerns are perfectly understandable, but I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. Yeah, because nothing could go wrong. Okay. Alright then, well, we got that done. I suppose we could go back to that stupid vault and uh, do that quest, but I'm not really feeling it right now. We already did that uh, quest over there, so I think we'll go ahead and select something else. Let's see. Bug an access point to a Lucky 38's data network for the follower of the Apocalypse. Um, recover the Platinum Chip. What's this? Make contact with the Brotherhood of Steel. Visit the White Glove Society of Ultra Lux Casino. Reserve the Emeritus at their casino. Go to Red Rock and make contact with the Great Khans. Make contact with boomers at Nelly's AFB. I'm not too sure what this is about. Wild card. Change in management. Wild card side bets. Oh, side bets. That's what I was reading. For some reason, I thought it was that. I'm going crazy. I wonder if. Uh, let's just go ahead and check this out, see what this is all about. So, I think, uh, I think that one quest was pretty successful. We did well, we got a uh, good amount of experience. I just wish the other quest was active while we were in the vault, but, oh well. We could always go back and do that another time, but for now, let's go ahead and check out what this quest is about.